um, 89 this coming Friday, so <clears throat> this is my mother, two sides, I guess. This is side one. When a lover leaves, it hurts in an old way, like a song my mother hummed way back before I knew how young she was or even that she had music. I think of my mother when youth was her best accessory, when she's standing on the dance floor, beautiful and alone. She is waiting there in black and white, the way I have seen her in photographs. Right about now, my father comes in, nervous and white-faced as the moon. Of course, he too is posed, his better side pushed forward in my mind. Only this time there is something I haven't seen before. Maybe it's the August heat that is making him sweat, or the curve of my mother's right hip as she stands there swaying in place. He is wearing the look of a man who's convinced he may never think straight again. Dumbstruck until the music thuds him on the back like an older brother when he takes that first step, step towards her, and I am about to begin. First rain. My arms tubed in a vinyl raincoat. It is here I learn how the skin doesn't breathe. This morning is locked in the color of dawn and mother, who opens her umbrella wide as worry shields me to the curb where school bus doors flex open. Once aboard, I take my place in alphabetical order. Below, the motor erupts. I watch the road moving towards us, under us, and through the window, mother standing on the curb, shrinking slowly to a dot. Uh, this is called My Dead Florida Mother Meets Gandhi. <laughs> of all the things she could ask, she wants to know how he managed the India heat. <laughs> Boca's a swamp, she tells him, humidity only an alligator could stand. And I swear it was enough to kill me, which in fact it probably did. Gandhi takes a gulp of heaven air, lavender, and cool. To be honest, he says, I hated it. Hated the salt lick film of weather sweat. Would have much preferred it all went down in a tundra climate. Greenland, for example. Some unfair tax on ice cubes and me leading polar bears into the Arctic Sea. There we would chip at the glaciers, bagging up chunks of permafrost, my breath visible and white. My mother takes his bird-boned hand and holds it for a while. You did good, she tells Gandhi. <laughs> she looks at him the way she looked at me when Davy Goldfarb called to say that, yeah, he was gay after all. <laughs> the way she looked at me the night my husband said that by other women, he meant our neighbor Ruth. <laughs> and the way she looked at me that last time in the nursing home as if to say, it's not your fault. It's not. You're a good boy, she tells Gandhi, who I think should be horrified, but isn't. Instead, he squeezes my Florida mother's pillowy hands, his naked shoulders squaring off, his slick, bald head rising up like a new, sudden moon. Thank you. Now, here's the other side. This is um, <clears throat> called Answers. Because you're just a baby. Because I said so. Because I'm your mother. <laughs> because I have to go to work now. Because when I come home, I'll be too tired. Because that's how it's always going to be. Because I'm your father. Because you're a big girl. Because your mother said you should listen to me. Because I'm the babysitter. Because I thought you wanted a baby sister. Because you have to share me now. Because your sister needs me more than you do. Because in kindergarten we learn to share with others. Because the other children need me too. Because I'm the teacher. 
Because I have to work so we can have money. Because I'm your father and that's what fathers do. Because I love you. Because I love you. Because I love you. Because your father was busy. Because he's got a lot on, on his mind. Because he forgets my birthday too. Because your sister's so cute. Because your sister's just a baby. Because I'm supposed to watch the baby. Because I'm the babysitter, right? Because your father and I were having problems. Because you'll understand when you're older. Because I don't understand either. Because sometimes grown-ups fall out of love. Because sometimes people fall in love with other people. Because I fell in love with someone else. Because sometimes even fathers can be jerks. Because you have to go to school. Because everybody goes to school. Because I have to go to work now. Because your father left us high and dry. Because you didn't hand in your report. Because you don't pay attention. Because you really seem like a nice girl. Because I don't enjoy failing students. Because you can't go out. Because you have to watch your sister. Because you're too old for a babysitter. Because I can't afford a babysitter. Because you know I call you when I can, kiddo because I'm still your dad, because we're busy with the new baby, because you understand, because your sister helps out more, because I'm hurt that you'd say that, because I love both my girls the same, because I don't want to go steady, because I thought I wanted to go steady, because I want to go steady with someone else, because you're too young to date, because boys only want one thing, because I know, all right? Because that's how I got pregnant with you. Because I had to fail you. Because you have so much potential. Because I thought you'd be more like your sister. Because I'm your mother and I can still punish you. Because I smelled liquor on your breath. Because I smelled smoke on your breath. Because I smelled a boy's breath on your breath. Because I met someone else. Because I didn't know how to tell you. Because I didn't know she was your sister. Because she didn't do it on purpose, because your sister wouldn't hurt you, because she's your sister. Because you didn't have enough credits to graduate, because maybe night school would be better for you, because not, every has, not everybody has to be a good student, right? Because you have to graduate high school, because both my girls are going to graduate high school, because you don't want to end up like me. Because I lost your number. Because I like you only as a friend. Because I, I don't love you. Because I never loved you. Because I thought I loved you. Because I love you too much. Because you don't know what love is. Because I don't know what love is. Because I think I might be gay. Because I thought you might be gay. Because I don't want to hurt you. Because I don't want to get hurt. Because I wanted more. Because I wanted less. Because, 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 because I'm a fucking jerk. <laughs> because you were late three times. Because you were always distracted. Because we need someone more perky because we really do like you, because we're doing you a favor, because we can't give you another chance, because we already gave you another chance, because we already hired somebody else. Because your sister has children and you don't, because your sister is married, because your sister calls me more often, because your sister needs me more than you do. Because we didn't want to scare you, because we're only doctors and we don't really know everything. Because you came in, so in sooner, we could have caught it. Because we don't really know that much about it. Because we don't really know that much at all. Because we need to know what you want to do. Because you don't want to end up a vegetable. Because the truth is, I'm not so healthy myself. Because your sister needs me too. Because the truth is, you can't count on me. Because we didn't realize how bad it was. Because you never said anything. Because you should have spoken up. Because we can't read your mind. Because you should have told us. Because the doctors did everything they could. Because only the good die young. Because God needs you in heaven. Because at least you're not suffering anymore. Because I didn't tell a lot of people. Because I didn't think you'd want a big fuss. Because people don't like to go to funerals. Because people are uncomfortable at funerals. Because people are busy. Because you always took everything so personal. Because I could have been a better mother. Because I didn't know how to be a mother. Because who the hell knows how to be a mother? Because, because, because. Absolutely brilliant.